<laughs> Robert Trent had worked as a security guard at Oakwood Supermarket for years, and the night shift had become a routine part of his life. The empty aisles and flickering fluorescent lights were familiar companions during those lonely hours. On one particularly cold and rainy night, as Robert settled into his chair near the store's entrance, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. The supermarket silence was broken only by the distant sound of rain tapping against the windows. As the hours passed, Robert began to sense an unusual presence lurking in the shadows. His years of security work had honed his instincts, and he knew when something was amiss. He checked the surveillance cameras, expecting to catch a glimpse of a trespasser or a shoplifter, but the screen showed nothing out of the ordinary. Still, the feeling of being washed persisted. Strange occurrences soon followed. The automatic doors swung open and closed without cause. Cans of soup rolled off shelves, and eerie whispers echoed through the empty aisles. Robert's unease deepened as he realized that these events defied rational explanation. The whispers seemed to carry messages, though he couldn't quite make out their meaning. He chalked it up to stress and fatigue, but deep down, he knew there was something more sinister at play. One night, Robert discovered something disturbing. In the far corner of the supermarket, hidden behind a stack of pallets, he stumbled upon a circle drawn in red chalk on the floor. Inside the circle lay scattered remnants of candles and strange symbols he couldn't decipher. It was as if someone had conducted a mysterious ritual within the supermarket, leaving behind a lingering malevolence. Determined to get to the bottom of the strange occurrences, Robert began investigating the ritual's origins. He scored the supermarket's records, searching for any information that might shed light on who had conducted the ritual and why. He also reached out to a local historian, who had a reputation for delving into the town's hidden history. Robert knew that uncovering the truth was the only way to put an end to the unsettling events in the supermarket. The historian, Professor Evelyn Blake, arrived at Oakwood Supermarket with a wealth of knowledge about the town's past. She explained to Robert that the town had a dark history, including tales of witch trials and arcane rituals. According to Professor Blake, the supermarket was built upon land that had once been a site for such rituals, and the circle Robert had discovered was a remnant of those practices. She warned that ancient malevolent forces might have been awakened by his intrusion. Robert and Professor Blake began to unravel the secrets of the malevolent entity that had been summoned by the ritual. It had lain dormant for centuries, bound by a powerful enchantment that had now been disrupted. The entity hungered for power and sought to consume the living, using the supermarket as a conduit to wreak havoc in the world. Its whispers and manifestations were a reflection of its malevolent desires. With the knowledge of the entity's origins, Robert and Professor Blake embarked on a perilous mission to confront the malevolent force. Armed with ancient incantations and protective charms, they sought to banish the entity from the supermarket. The battle that followed was a test of their resolve and determination. The entity fought back with all its otherworldly strength, summoning shadows and tormenting them with horrifying visions. In their darkest hour, Robert and Professor Blake discovered an ancient artifact, the Talisman of Binding. It was said to have the power to restrain malevolent forces and banish them from the mortal realm. As they wielded the talisman against the entity, it trembled and howled, unable to escape its grasp. Robert and Professor Blake's voices rang out with the incantations, invoking ancient powers to seal the entity's fate. In a final burst of brilliant light, the malevolent entity was banished from the supermarket. Vanquished by the combined might of Robert, Professor Blake, and the talisman of binding, the supermarket was free from its dark influence, and silence once again reigned within its walls. But Robert knew that their battle was far from over. The malevolent entity's power remained bound to the town, and the secrets of its past still held dark mysteries waiting to be uncovered. In the wake of the malevolent entity's defeat, the supermarket regained a semblance of normalcy. The strange occurrences ceased, and the supermarket's eerie reputation gradually faded. However, Robert couldn't shake the feeling that the shadows of the entity still clung to the town. The whispers had not completely vanished, 
and he couldn't help but wonder if the entity's banishment was only temporary. During his continued investigations, Robert stumbled upon a series of cryptic writings hidden in the supermarket's basement. The writings appeared to be a journal of a former employee, detailing unsettling encounters with supernatural forces within the supermarket. The journal mentioned a prophecy that foretold the return of the malevolent entity, and it spoke of an ancient ritual that could seal its fate once and for all. Robert reached out to Professor Evelyn Blake once more, hoping she could decipher the cryptic writings and provide guidance on how to prevent the malevolent entity's return. Upon her return, Professor Blake revealed that the ritual mentioned in the journal was fraught with danger and required a precise set of circumstances. She urged caution, warning that any misstep could unleash unspeakable horrors. As Robert and Professor Blake delved deeper into the cryptic writings, they discovered that the ritual was tied to a celestial event, an upcoming solar eclipse that would cast the town into total darkness. According to the writings, the malevolent entity could only be summoned or sealed during such a celestial convergence. The eclipse was rapidly approaching, leaving them with little time to prepare. Robert and Professor Blake dedicated themselves to preparing for the looming eclipse. They sought out rare and powerful artifacts, including a set of ancient keys that were said to unlock the ritual's potential. As they scoured the town for these keys, they encountered strange omens and signs ominous clouds, blood-red moons, and unusual animal behavior. It was as though the world itself recognized the impending danger. In the days leading up to the eclipse, a sense of foreboding hung over Oakwood. The townsfolk, though unaware of the impending ritual, felt a growing unease in the air. Robert and Professor Blake continued their preparations in secret, knowing that the stakes were higher than ever. They could sense the malevolent entity's presence growing stronger, as if it were drawn to the convergence of celestial forces. The day of the eclipse finally arrived, shrouding the town in an eerie darkness. As the moon began to obscure the sun, Robert and Professor Blake made their way to the supermarket, carrying the keys and the ancient artifacts needed for the ritual. With each passing moment, the tension grew palpable, and the supermarket seemed to reverberate with a malevolent energy. In the heart of the supermarket, beneath the obscured sun, Robert and Professor Blake initiated the ritual. Their voices rang out with incantations that resonated with the celestial alignment, and they unlocked the hidden power of the keys and artifacts. As the ritual progressed, the malevolent entity's presence intensified, attempting to thwart their efforts. Shadows swirled around them, and ghostly apparitions materialized, lashing out in a desperate bid to disrupt the ceremony. Despite the entity's relentless interference, Robert and Professor Blake persevered, drawing upon the ancient magic of the ritual to seal the malevolent force. The supermarket's aisles became a battlefield, with supernatural forces clashing in a maelstrom of power. As the eclipse reached its zenith, the malevolent entity let out a deafening, agonized scream. It was pulled into the center of the ritual, bound by the ancient enchantments woven by Robert and Professor Blake. In a blinding burst of celestial energy, the malevolent entity was sealed once more, trapped in the realm between worlds. Its malevolence dissipated, and the supermarket's eerie aura began to fade. The eclipse waned, and sunlight bathed the town once more. Oakwood, though forever marked by its supernatural history, had been saved from the entity's clutches. The sealing ritual had succeeded, but it came at a cost. Both Robert and Professor Blake had been profoundly affected by the ancient magic they had wielded. Their minds were filled with visions and fragmented memories of the malevolent entity's torment. As they struggled to regain their composure, Robert and Professor Blake knew that their battle against the supernatural was far from over. The entity might be sealed, but its influence lingered in their minds. In the aftermath of the sealing ritual, Robert and Professor Blake decided to launch a comprehensive paranormal investigation of Oakwood. They were determined to uncover the town's hidden history of dark rituals, malevolent entities, and the secrets that bound them. Their research led them to long-forgotten texts and documents that revealed the town's connection to a network of ancient cults, each with its own set of forbidden knowledge. As they dug deeper into the town's history, 
Robert and Professor Blake began to uncover a web of conspiracy that extended beyond Oakwood. Dark forces, operating in the shadows for centuries, had manipulated events to ensure the malevolent entity's return. It became clear that the supernatural occurrences in the town were just the tip of the iceberg and that a greater, more sinister plot was at play. Robert and Professor Blake also discovered references to a group of ancient guardians who had fought against the malevolent entity in centuries past. These guardians were said to possess knowledge and abilities passed down through generations, and they had sacrificed much to protect the world from the entity's darkness. Their existence hinted at the possibility of allies in the ongoing battle against the supernatural. Among the ancient texts, Robert and Professor Blake uncovered a series of prophecies that foretold a cataclysmic event, the potential return of the malevolent entity and the unleashing of unspeakable horrors upon the world. The prophecies spoke of chosen individuals who would rise to confront this looming threat. Robert and Professor Blake realized that they were among those chosen to stand against the darkness. In their quest to uncover the truth and prepare for the prophesied battle, Robert and Professor Blake began to seek out other potential guardians. They reached out to individuals with unique talents and knowledge of the supernatural, forming a clandestine network dedicated to protecting the world. As the group gathered, they shared their own encounters with malevolent forces and worked to decipher the secrets of the ancient guardians. With the group of guardians assembled, they began their training in earnest. Professor Blake served as their mentor, guiding them in harnessing their unique abilities and imparting the knowledge required to face the supernatural threats. The training was grueling, and the guardians faced physical and mental challenges that pushed them to their limits. They knew that their preparation was the key to preventing the malevolent entity's return. During a particularly intense training session, one of the guardians experienced a vision, a harrowing glimpse of a world plunged into darkness where the malevolent entity had broken free of its prison and wreaked havoc upon humanity. The vision served as a stark reminder of the stakes involved in their battle against the supernatural. It strengthened their resolve to prevent the prophecy from becoming a reality. As the Guardians delved deeper into their training, they learned of a forgotten artifact, the Reliquary of Shadows. It was said to hold the power to permanently destroy malevolent entities and prevent their return. However, the artifact was hidden in a place shrouded in darkness and guarded by formidable supernatural forces. The Guardians knew that they would have to embark on a perilous journey to retrieve it. With their training near completion, the Guardians prepared for the perilous journey to retrieve the Reliquary of Shadows. They equipped themselves with ancient relics and protective amulets, ready to face the unknown. Their journey would take them into the heart of darkness where the malevolent entity's influence still lingered and where the final battle to prevent its return would be waged.